Hey, welcome back for another art project with Miss Smith. Ashlyn. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, today we're going to do an art project about goldfish. Fishies. Actually, the um, art project is called The Goldfish. Ashlyn, can you show? Fishies. Goldfish. Goldfish. Fishies. These are called fishies. This is called The Goldfish by Henry Matisse. Well, this is my example. You can yeah. see my goldfish. Make sure that you're eating goldfish while you're making your goldfish. Here is... If you have goldfish. Henry Matisse's The Goldfish. Now, this is called a still life. Ashton, do you know what a still life is? A picture of something that is supposed to be moving, but it is not. Well, it doesn't always have to be moving. It could be a still life can be a picture of something that is inanimate, like a chair. Chairs don't move unless you move it for them. Or a table or plants. Now, a still life is something, it's a picture of something that is usually still. So this picture right here that Henry Matisse painted back in 1912 was done of goldfish in a fish tank and he's got some really cool patterns in the background on the wallpaper and he's got some flowers and leaves and a tabletop right here so what you're going to do today is do a still life like this one like henry matisse did called the goldfish so i'm going to walk you through it step by step it is just a drawing project you don't need any glue or any scissors you're just going to need a pencil and eraser and something to color with. Crayons, colored pencils or markers, or even if you have paint, you can paint this. So let me show you my... Oh, I'm sorry. Just put that down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me show you my example. So what I've got on mine that's similar to Henry Matisse is... The gold. Yep, the goldfish. The goldfish tank. I've got some really cool wallpaper in the background, yellow and green polka dots. <clears throat> Over here I've got like a tan color with some green blobs and at the bottom I've got stripes. I got like a green like an olive green and a white stripe right here. <clears throat> and then for fun I did a pink um, table. Henry Matisse's table was kind of like the color of his was almost kind of like a brownish uh, color. Orange. <laughs> Whatever colors you choose are totally up oh, to okay. you. But those are some things you want to think of <clears throat> when you're drawing. And also, what I did as a, a little bit of extra, of something extra, was I had green construction paper, so I cut out some leaves <clears throat> and then I glued them on. But you don't have to do that. You can just draw them into your project. Okay? So now I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. All right, remember what I said? Make sure that you've got your goldfish nearby. Mm, they're good. Even adults like goldfish. All right. Excuse me while I have my, my snack. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with a pencil and a piece of paper. So I'm gonna hold it vertically, not horizontally. Okay, so that way it, Aria. that way um, the project fits. All right, so what I'm gonna do is start off with some lines to show the background. Cause right here I've got a vertical line kind of going through here what you can't see behind here is another line. So let's let's start with that. Let's start easy. So you can do this two ways. You can draw just one horizontal line going across your paper. So then that would be like, this is the bottom of your art and this is the top of your art. So this could be like the wallpaper and this can be the floor and then we'll put the table right there and then we'll put our goldfish on there. So you can do it like that, just drawing a horizontal line. Or what I did when I did mine is I wanted a little bit more depth to my art. So I, from the corner here, 
up to here, I kind of drew like a diagonal line. I'm actually going to start here. And I just kind of drew, without a ruler, drew a diagonal line. And then I'm going to go straight up. Then I'm going to go straight over, like like that. Now when I, when I draw, sometimes I have like these hairy lines. I'm sketching right now. Make sure that all my lines look good. All right, so now look, now I got more depth. This looks like a wall. This is the far back wall, and this is my floor right here. I kind of like the way that looks. So again, you could just do one horizontal line for the floor and the wall. Or now you've got the floor and a side wall and the back wall. All right, now I'm gonna draw a table. You can even have a chair. You can even have a chair and then put the goldfish on the chair if you want. But I think I'm just going to do a table. So what I'm going to do is just draw an oval. And we're going to be doing a lot of erasing with this. Because you, as you can see, you can see all my lines through my table right there. And now the top of the table is done. Now I'm going to do some table legs. So your table legs could be like a little bit more fancier if you want. I'm just making mine look a little bit different this time. Now let me show you mine. Okay, I just did some legs just like that. I was really more interested in color for this project than really getting things looking right because that's kind of like what Henry Matisse did. He added a lot of color to his art and a lot of pattern. So that's kind of what we're going to focus on for this. So if your table and chair or your uh, table or chair legs look a little funny, it's okay. A little abstract art there. Something doesn't look quite right. All right, and then I made two other legs kind of in the background right there to kind of show that they're like in the back. Okay, so they're a little bit shorter to kind of make them look like they're back there. Now before I go any farther, I'm going to erase some stuff because my table is not see-through. I shouldn't be able to see those lines. My table is now in the foreground. It's in the front of my art, okay? All right, now I'm going to do the fish tank. Now, Henry Matisse's fish tank kind of look like a cylinder, okay? Kind of like that shape. But what I did with mine made it a little bit different, okay? You could even do something more like this. Or you make it more circular. You could do something like that. And then for the opening, I'm going to draw that. Okay. And erase some of my lines. If you want to keep those lines, you can, because it'll almost look, make it look like the tank is see through, like it's made out of glass. So I kind of lightly, when I colored, I colored it pink right here to show the back of the chair and I colored it kind of like a <clears throat> brown color right here to show uh, the table, sorry, <laughs> yeah, the table and then I did a line here to show the background, the wallpaper, just to kind of make it look like it's really made out of glass. And Henry Matisse kind of did that too. The cool thing that he did was he even painted the reflections of the, um, the goldfish in his tank. I thought that was really cool. And you can kind of see the leaves through the glass right there as well. Oh. All right. So now after I have the goldfish tank, now I'm going to draw my fish. Many different ways to draw fish. Let's just get a couple of them in there. <clears throat> Top fin. You can do a bottom fin. Okay. There's a way to do a fish. I'm looking at Henry Matisse's fish. And I'm going to try to copy one of his that he did. They look a little different. They're a little bit more skinnier and the, the, this is kind of rounded more <clears throat> right there. And he gave them some eyes. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to draw a line towards the top to draw the to um, to show the uh, the top of the water you guys see how I did that try to make it look three-dimensional so like 
this is all water in here now. The water line, the top of the water. Henry Matisse did the same thing. See how he drew a line right here and then he did a line behind there to show that this is three dimensional. Okay, it's a cylinder, so he did that. I did the same thing, see? Looks three dimensional. <clears throat> now, if you want, you can draw your, um, your, uh, your, um, your leaves if you would like. There's many different kinds of shapes of leaves that you can add. You can even put some flowers and stuff on top of your table, like Henry Matisse did for like something extra. Or you can do that with construction paper, like I did. I'm gonna draw in some leaves for now. There's a leaf kind of poking out right there. We'll do another one coming off right there. You can even have some leaves kind of maybe like creeping in from the side right here. Maybe there's something going on over here that we don't see. Maybe there's another plant kind of coming down right there. You could put a cat in your art. You want to put a cat in your art? Put a little sleeping kitty cat right there. Or maybe he's not sleeping. He's trying to get the fish. Yes, maybe he's trying to get the fish. So after you have everything sketched out, if you would like, you can outline things in Sharpie. Um, I outlined my fish tank in black because I kind of wanted it to stand out. I outlined my table in red, colored it in pink. You got a lot of freedom now with how you want to color it in. But that is your last step, is to add all of the color. And there you go. That is your Henry Matisse, the goldfish, still life. Have fun with it. Show lots of color. Show lots of pattern. And I can't wait to see them. Bye.